guys, welcome back to Aloe and Clover. So today we are going to be doing one of my favorite recipes, which is for potato salad. And it's in honor of 4th of July weekend. So happy 4th of July, everybody. So as you notice, I have a little bit of tie dye on to represent the holiday. And I hope that you really enjoy this recipe. If you haven't already gone ahead and subscribed to this channel, please do so. I would really appreciate the support to help put out new quality videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you have already supported the channel and subscribed, I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you will like, comment and share and help me to get my message out there. So I really appreciate it. All right, so this is how to make 4th of July potato salad. So there are key ingredients that you're gonna need, which are potato. I use red potato in this recipe and um, boiled eggs, as well as onions. I use purple onions, but you could certainly use yellow onions or anything of the sort that you like. And mustard and turmeric, mayo, pickle relish, and flaxseed. So these are the ingredients and stay tuned for the exact amounts in the description and throughout the video. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is about 10 red potatoes and I actually ate mine, uh, not quartered them, but ate them just to make them small enough, as you can see. And I'm about ready to crack these bad boys open so that I have both potato and egg in my potato salad. That's the way I like it. Um, so you can certainly do it without the egg, but I do like it with it. Here we go. This is good for aggression. Oh, definitely try the vinegar hack on this because this is a disaster. Look at this. Great. <laughs> Excellent. And I'm using four eggs for this recipe. So 10 red potatoes and four eggs is my ratio. And then I just chop them up. I'm probably going to make these into eighths. Egg. Egg. 
So this is the first part. Um, the potatoes were boiled until soft and then I let them sit and cool before I actually handled them. And then the eggs were boiled um, for probably five minutes and then I turned the burner off and let it just sit there for five minutes and then turned it completely off or took it off the heat altogether and then I uh, cooled the eggs and ran them under cold water in the sink. And this will make a decent amount as you can see the size of the bowl. I would say for like family of five. Secret weapon! You can do this where you will mix all the wet ingredients, which in this case are only like two um, ingredients together, and then mix it into the potato salad. I'm just gonna dump them in like this. So we have about a quarter cup of pickled relish third of a cup of mayo. I'm going to start out small and kind of mix it in. Um, and depending on how wet you like your potato salad is how wet you're going to make this. I like mine more on the dry side. So, oh, get in there. Escaped. Oh my goodness quite a mess. All right. And for me, that's enough. Um, so it's not too much mayo, not too wet. Cause I, like I said, I do put in my secret ingredient. So I only used about a third of a cup of this. And then I'm going to dump in red onions. And it really smells good already. I'm curious, do you guys like your potato salad hot or do you like it cold? Put it in the comments below. Love to hear from you. That's looking really And then this is just something I put into a lot of my dishes, flaxseed. Doesn't add any flavor. It might add a little bit of texture, um, but it adds protein to the recipe. And it also is good for keeping your um, digestive tract moving. <laughs> So it's always good for that. So if you have little ones that get constipated a lot, this is certainly good for that. And so that's good. Might add a little extra texture, which I personally don't mind, but you can certainly leave it out if you don't like the extra texture. And as always, garlic powder or fresh garlic if you have access to it. I just happen to have this on hand. And that was about two tablespoons of garlic powder. Again, you're gonna adjust that according to what you like. I like a lot of garlic. You certainly can keep it out if you want. There's a lot of options for this recipe. All right, that looks good. And the turmeric. I, again, put this in just for health reasons. Try and get as much nutrients and minerals and all sorts of goodness into every meal with my kid. Because he is Picky Eater Anonymous. Not really, but... And it's going to change the color a little bit. So if you don't 
want that, you want it to look more traditional, then obviously you can leave it out. I put it in, um, like I said, for health benefits. Turmeric is a great anti-inflammatory. Um, see it in a lot of like Middle Eastern dishes and things like that. Um, you know. So. All right. Now my special ingredient. Do, 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 do. Some people don't like mustard in their potato salad. I do. Uh-oh, it's not open. All right, so I just do this to site. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer so you can see. All right, and that's good to start with. So that's probably about a teaspoon of mustard. And now that I'm kind of mixing in the mustard, I'm noticing that it's a little drier than I want. No big deal. I'm just gonna add a little bit more mayo. And then we should be good to go. So I am going to use the rest of this. This is probably closer to a half a cup of mayo when I use the whole thing. And I would say that's probably what you're looking towards if you want it to be more wet. Or even more than that because it's not going to make it super wet. And then I like to give it a little taste just to see if it is that texture I'm looking for. And the other thing is you can take the skins off the potato. I like to leave it on because it's at extra nutrients again, but mm, that's so good. So, hmm. Yummy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video on how to make 4th of July potato salad. I hope that you enjoy it, and I hope that you have a great weekend relaxing with your family and enjoying life and try and make the most of this crazy world we are living in these days. So um, I just wanted to thank you so much for watching and you have a great day. This is Alan Clover. Bye guys.